uh, today we are going to solve the problem remove k digits so it has been asked in amazon microsoft bloomberg google adobe facebook and recently it got asked in coordination as well so personally i felt this problem can be categorized into uh, hard problems in the medium category so this problem is really good so in this video we are going to discuss following things first we will discuss how to think this type of problems then we will see how to identify the data structures by taking few examples Th then we will dry run the examples for better understanding then we will see the coding part then we will see how we can reduce number of lines in our code then finally we are going to discuss time and the space complexity so for better understanding please watch the video till the end i can guarantee you that you will learn something new from this video now first let's understand the problem statement clearly here you are given a string number <coughs> representing a non negative integer num and an integer k we need to return the smallest possible integer after removing k digits from the num he is saying that he will give some number and he will give some number k we need to remove digits in such a way that my resulted number should be minimum now if you see here 1432219 he had removed 4 3 and 2 so his minimum digit is 1219 in the same way here k is equals to 1 he has removed this one and we have leading zero here so we got 200 same applies here k is equals to 2 i can remove both but my my array can't be empty so i need to return zero so we will see now you know we will see we have this number consider Uh, and k is equals to three. So first thing first, we need to think about greedy. Whenever this type of questions comes, maximum, minimum, we should think about greedy, and we will try to fail the greedy. Then we can go for a deep. So first we will think greedy. So what greedy says? My first move should be optimal. My every move, whichever move I am making, it should be my optimal move. Now let's see. Now let's consider if I want to remove all the maximums. First case I will. Think now we have four three nine two, and I will say I wish I will remove nine. I will remove nine, so that this is my maximum digit. So I will remove nine. You can see here if I remove nine, my answer will be four three two. But if you observe carefully, if I remove four, my answer will be three nine two, which is minimum three nine two. By removing four, I got the minimum answer. Okay, this looks bit strange. Now let's see another example. We got this, and we got k is equals to two. Now. Let's remove two maximums from here. Let's remove two maximums. I can remove six and nine, so three, four, five, three. But if you observe carefully here, if you remove, if you remove six, and if you remove six, three, four, and five. If I remove six and five, my answer will be three, four, three, nine. It is lesser, right? It's lesser. I did not remove nine, but still my answer got the minimum. So. There is no guarantee that if you remove maximum elements, then you will get the minimum. There is no guarantee. So you understood like why we are not removing the maximums. Now let's think. Now let's think. Okay, this is not possible. Now let's see. Now let's see. Suppose we have k is equal to two. Now we have three six four five three nine. In the first step, I will see three six four. Okay, three six four. Ah, uh, if I remove three, I will start with six. I will start with six. Three six four five three nine. If I remove six, if I remove six, my answer will be three four five three nine. Three four five three nine. But you can't guarantee, right? You can't guarantee. So I will think if I I have three. If I remove three, it will be six four five three nine. Ah, uh, then I got six. Then I got six. Then I will think now I got four. Now I got four. Now if I remove This six. If I remove this six, my answer will be three four five three nine. But if I remove this four, but if I remove this four, my answer will be three six five three nine. Three six five three nine. So it's better to remove. It's better to remove this six, right? It's better to remove this six. Now my answer will be three four five three. Nine. Now let's see. Now we got three four five three nine. Now three. If I remove this four, I can't guarantee, right? If I remove this four, my answer will be three five. Three nine. Still, it will be maximum. Okay, I can't remove this four. Now I I got five. I got five. If I want to remove this five, three four three nine, three four three nine. Yes. If I remove this five, if I remove this five, my answer will be three four three nine. So it will be my minimum. 
now let's see another example now you will get the better idea now you will get k is equals to 4 we got 3 5 7 4 6 2 now in the beginning we have 3 we have 3 okay then we got 5 if i remove 3 my answer will be 5 7 4 6 2 which is maximum then 3 7 4 6 2 right it's better to have 3 now now i will keep 5 now i will keep 5 then i will check then i will check i can't guarantee <coughs> still i can't guarantee whether i can get the minimum now i got 7 here 3 5 7 3 5 7 so this is my increasing sequence still i can't guarantee because if you remove this 5 7 3 7 3 7 can be my maximum now i am keeping 7 now i am keeping 7 now i am getting 4 i am getting 4 now if you observe carefully if i remove this 7 if i remove this 7 my answer will be 3 5 4 Three five four. So yes, it's getting reduced. It getting reduced. So I will make it three five four six two. Now okay, we got reduced. Now let's see. Now let's see three five four six two. Now can I remove this five? Can I remove this five? If I remove this five, my answer will be three four six two. If I remove this four, my answer will be three five six two. So which is minimum? Three four six two is minimum. So I will remove this five. Okay, I remove this. Now I will try to remove this 3. Now I will try to remove this 3. If I try to remove this 3, my 3, 6, 2 and 4, 6, 2. My 3, 6, 2 is minimum. So I can't guarantee whether I can remove this 3 or not. Now we got here. We got here. 3, 4, 6, 2. Now, now let's see here. 3, 4, 6, 2. And we got 2 here. We got 2 and 3, 4, 2. Which is, which is smaller? 3, 4, 2 or 3, 4, 6. Definitely I can say 3, 4, 2. So 3, 4, 2 will be my answer. Now, now we have 4 here. We have 4 here. 3, 2 or 3, 4, 3, 2. Now, if you observe it, if you observe it, if you have monotonic sequence, if you have monotonic sequence, suppose we got 3 and then we got 5, then we got 7, then we got 7. Now, we are, we, we are having 4. When we have monotonic sequence, then I can't guarantee. If I remove it, then I, can, then I can't guarantee that this will be my maximum because if you remove this 3, I will I am starting with 5. If you remove this 5, my next digit is 7. So from the right, my values are increasing. Whenever I got the minimum, which is 4, when I got less value, so I am removing all elements which are smaller than 4 from this from the array, from the array. Yes. So monotonic sequence, so you can use monotonic stack. So we have identified which data structure we are going to use. So it is like stack. So stack which why because this is my monotonic sequence this will be my monotonic sequence now let's dry run the example now we we got here we 3 5 7 4 6 2 and k is equals to 4 now in the initial step we got 3 so i am pushing into the stack then i got 5 then still i am pushing into the stack because i can't guarantee that i will get my minimum then i got 7 yes i will push into the stack now i got 4 i got 4 now if you got 4, my 3, 5, 4, 6, 2 is minimum rather than 3, 5, 7, 6, 2. Here I can say that my 4 can be my minimum. So I will pop it out. My k is equals to, my k will become 3. Now still I have 4, still I have 4 and I have 5. 3, 4 is lesser than 3, 5. So I will pop 5 as well. Now it will become 3, 4, my k is equals to 2. Now I got 6. I will push into the stack. 3, 4, 6. Now I got 2. I got 2. So yes. 3, 4, 2 is smaller than 3, 4, 6. So I will pop 6 and my k will be 1, 3, 4. Now 3, 2 or 3, 4 which is smaller 3, 2. So I will pop this and my k will be 0. I am left with 3 and finally you are going to add 2 here. So we have removed 4 digits and we formed 3, 2 as my minimum. So I think you have got it what exactly we are doing. We have seen, we have seen why greedy, why greedy and why you will why you can't remove the maximum elements then we have dry run the few examples and after declaring the stack we have checked like we have checked the flow so if you did not understand please watch from here please watch from here now let's see the coding part it's easy it's easy first we are going to declare num stack first we are going to declare num stack and we are iterating to the every digit digit call and num and while k is greater than 0, I need to have some sort of operations and my stack is not empty. And if my digit is lesser than the num top, if my digit is less, that's here. You can see here, uh, you can see this, 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 357, 357. This is smaller, 
that's why we are popping 7 and 5 we are popping 7 and 5 and we are decrementing it if we are decrementing it now we are decrementing and we finally pushing the answer and well while my k greater than 0 i can remove all the elements from the back all the elements from the back why we can remove from the back now if you observe here in the stack it will be in monotonic sequence now it can be like 3 4 5 it's better to remove in the sequence first i will remove 5 then i will remove 4 then i will remove 3 that's why we are popping it up now we are storing the answer in my temp uh, temporary answer now temp dot pushback we are pushing every element into the stack remaining elements and we need to reverse it so my stack will be in this order in this order we are pushed like my top element will be my leftmost element then left 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 so after pushing it into the answer i need to reverse it and finally we need to remove the leading zeros and construct the final result m is equal to temp dot size this is my result found non-zero and if my temp of i is equal to zero and found non-zero zero is equal to zero then i will say continue if if i have found other than zero i am making it one and only leading zeros can be removed if you have one zero you can't remove this zero right because this is in my sequence and finally if my result size is zero you can see here if my result size is zero if you remove two i can remove all of this and my result size has become zero so i will pushing my result dot pushback answer and finally we are returning the result so i think you have got it so can you optimize can you optimize this resulting uh, this leading zero spot can you optimize it you know if you observe carefully this leading zero things comes when my stack is empty when my stack is empty so there is no values here there are no values here and i'm pushing only zeros into the stack so i can keep one more condition rather than doing all this i can keep one more condition if stack dot empty and digit equals to zero i can say continue now if you add this all my leading zeros will get eliminated all my leading zeros will get eliminated and this part this part is not required and this part is not required so you can see this coding so we have not used this coding part we are just temp dot size is equals to zero and finally we are resulting the temp returning the temp now if you see here here my time complexity is we are iterating only once it my every element is pushed once and popped once so mostly it will be n plus n and we are using some extra space so it will be like order of n so i think you understood it what exactly we are doing if you learned something new from this video please do like and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe and you can join my whatsapp community i have given the link in the description where there we are going to discuss various type of lit code problems then you can connect with me on linkedin same linkedin profile is given below so if you have any doubts please do ask in the comment section i will try to help you out and if you have any feedbacks whether it is positives or negatives everything is welcomed so i will see you in the next video till then bye bye